Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. In the last session, we understood how the FICA works and with that we have completed all the four major components of SAP BRIM. Now, in with today's session onwards, we would be checking upon the various type of BRIM business models. There are mainly three types of uh, business models in BRIM. Firstly, we have consumption based business model. It is also known as usage based model. Secondly, we have subscription based model. It is also known as recurring subscription. And lastly, we have event based model. It is also known as one time charge. Let's understand each of them in detail. Firstly, let's check upon consumption business model. The consumption based model also known as usage based model is built on the idea that customer will pay accordingly for the amount of service or product that they consume. The philosophy for this model is pretty straightforward. First, the business will quantify the service that it provides and determine a pricing model based on actual usage. Then, at the end of every billing cycle, the customer is billed according to what is used. One of the examples of such model is in telecom industry where we get charged based on the amount of internet data we consume in case of postpaid. In case of prepaid, we get a limited amount of data based on the data pack we buy. Another example of a such a model is in EV industry where we get charged based on the time and unit we consume when we charge our electric vehicle in public charging stations. If we look at the graph, we can see that on different periods, a different billing event got triggered which is resulting in a different invoice amount. Here the invoice amount is billed to customer depend, uh, depending on customer's usage. For example, during the first period, the customer consumes most customer consumes the most compared to the second and third period. As a result, the billing event one has the highest amount one billed. Besides being simple, Another advantage of this model is that it offers a linkage between the amount of customers have to pay and the actual usage and value delivered to the customer. If for whatever reason customer deems that the service or the products do not offer the expected return on the investment, they can stop using them and are not liable for the bill. Now let's see a consumption based billing scenario in our SAP BRIM live system. So I believe we have seen this figure before. So let's understand from this figure the entire consumption based business model data flow firstly master data will get created and this master data will then gets saved in convergent charging module let's see here we can see that we have created a business partner and similarly we have also created a contract account. Now 
let's see in SAP CC. As we can see in SAP CC, we have the business partner. Similarly, we also have the contract account. Now, let's try. Uh, let's. So now, let's try creating a subscription order and then see. So here, we have created a subscription order with a product which is of usage type. And with that product, we have been able to create a contract number. Now, if we see over here from SOM, we were able to create a provider contract. And now, this provider contract will get saved in. SAP CC. As we can see over here that the provider contract 20728 is in SAP CC with our business partner code. Now Once this is done, so now from conversion mediation or via some other way, uh, consumptions will be sent to SAP CI system where this consumption data will get stored. Now we are in SAP CI system and as we have seen this <laughs> screen before for this contract 20728 these are the two consumption data records which we have saved in our system and after we did after we performed rating on this available item got generated now we can see currently the quantity is 100 so now from here the consumption data now again will be sent to SAP CC where rating and charging will be done and then it will be sent back to SAP CI as a billable item. So let's see. Here we are using a function, again a predefined function by SAP CC in which we just have to insert the values we don't have to write any code so here we are providing sit quantity which as we just now saw 100 was the quantity amount that a quantity that we provided in the CI system and that will get the scaled amount is 0.5 INR and the fixed amount is 0 so as per this formula 100 would be multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 0 that would be 50 INR and that should be sent back to our CI system as amount in a billable item so let's check now if we see if we click on this we can see that 
50 INR was sent from SAP CC system. Once we okay, let me show you one more case. Yes. So basically, when it is sent, as we can see, the status is billable. And this is how we get the data. Here also, we can see that we received 50 INR. Now, we will try to bill it. Now, as we can see, the billing document got created. and the status changed to build and not invoiced. Now we will try to invoice it. And we can see that the invoice document also successfully got created. Now in the invoice document also we can see 50 and now we can also see the document number which is a posting document 50015 with an amount of 50 for GL, uh, GL account this now let's see in account monitor whether we can see this amount or whether we can see this document number if we look over here we can see that the document number 500185 which we just now created by invoicing is now available and it is in yellow color which basically means that receivable is open but not due and the reason for that is that due date is 29th which is today so till today it would be on due but the rest which are open and due are of past dates. So with this, we have basically seen the entire consumption based model right from master data getting created in SOM, which gets transferred to SAP CC. Then once we create subscription order in SOM, automatically automatically that subscription order will create a subscription contract and so on and that subscription contract will first get transferred to SAP CI and then will get transferred to SAP CC then we would uh, then we have logged consumption data record in SAP CI system which upon performing rating went to SAP CC went to SAP CC and then it went back to SAP CI as billable item then on doing billing and invoicing we created a billing document and invoicing document and after that the postings went to SAP FICA system I hope with this you would understand the entire consumption based business model flow. In the next session, we will see the other business model flows. Thank you.